Good evening, Everblades fans. Welcome back to Hertz Arena for Game 5 of the South Division Finals. Florida Everblades, another chance to finish off the Jacksonville Iceman at home. Last night, Florida, they had the chance to finish off a sweep, but the Iceman playing desperate hockey kept themselves alive by feasting on the power play. Florida, an undisciplined game from themselves. The most penalties they've taken in a match since Game 2 of the South Division Semifinals against South Carolina, where the Stingrays also were able to use the power play to win that game. Jacksonville scoring four power play goals in a 4-3 overtime victory, including the OT winner from Brendan Harris. Just Everblades putting themselves into trouble. You can survive being a little bit undisciplined here and there. You can survive a night where you have a rough day on the penalty kill. You cannot survive both. And that's unfortunately what happened with the Blades last night. Jacksonville playing desperate hockey, trying to keep their season alive. They did it for one night, but now they're going to have to come back into Hertz Arena and do it again. Everblades last night, they never led in the game at any point. The first time in the series that the Blades have not had the lead in a game and it showed because the Everblades, when they play with a lead, when they play out front, their defensive structure usually comes through and is enough to lock games down. Everblades have not yet allowed a team to come back in a game this play in the playoffs. Blades have been strong whenever they're out front, especially when they can build up a multi-goal lead. We saw yesterday the Blades, they were able to come back and tie things up in the third period, certainly their best period last night. But Florida, they don't want to play from behind. They're at their best when they play out front. So it's going to be crucial for the Everblades tonight to get that first goal and then build on it throughout the rest of the game. Going in tonight, when you're looking at key players in this game, you always want to look at your leaders in an elimination game. Guys like Joe Pendenza, who sits at the top of the scoring chart for the Blades with 12 points. Sean Jossing leading the entire ECHL with seven goals so far in the postseason. And of course, Cam Johnson in the crease always relied upon heavily. He was good last night for sure. But if we can get him playing the way he did in game three, there's no way that the Iceman will be able to break through. Keys to the game tonight, certainly special teams. Jacksonville four power play goals last night. Special teams a big focus for the Blades today in practice and in the meetings last night. Especially the penalty kill getting that working. Blades also went 0 for 3 on the power play so expect the Blades to make some adjustments there. Dis discipline going to be very important. Florida last night six power play opportunities for Jacksonville. You don't want to give them that many. They're going to break through like they certainly did last night. So you got to just stay a little bit smarter with that. And then as always, you want to be able to control your own blue line. Make sure that Jacksonville is forced to dump pucks in the way they were in games two and three. They couldn't really set themselves up the same way they did yesterday. And in games two and three, it paid big dividends for Florida. Last night, unfortunately, did not. Game five, Everblades looking to move on to the Eastern Conference Finals right here at Hertz Arena. Warm-ups and puck drop coming up next. <laughs> 